What is going on YouTube? Silver Surfer coming your way again with another video here. Uh, this one I just wanted to share with you guys one of my more recent pickups here that I got. And uh, not the one in the back, that's actually a recent find there. You guys can see that serial number, 33332255. Still collected fancies, still strap searching. Uh, we call these a double or a quad double. Um, so four pairs, if you would. Um, all lined up. Doesn't have to be the exact number or anything like that. Obviously, that'd be a solid, but yeah, that's uh, what that thing is. Kind of cool. You know, I've only found a couple of those in circulation, so I was happy to see that there. And I snagged it, and it's on a J note too, which is kind of interesting. A little bit more uncommon of a note in my neck of the woods for a Federal Reserve branch. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about this Friedberg 122, uh, also known as a 1901 legal tender. Also known as the Bison Note, also known as the Lewis and Clark Note, and it's got a lot of different nicknames there. And PMG graded this one as a fine, choice fine, 15, and I think it probably just about fits that. It's in between the, the fine 12 and choice fine 15. I'll take it on a higher higher um, certification um, rating there. That's, that's fine. And yeah, so this is a very popular note, guys. Uh, many of you have probably seen this bad boy before in the past. Um, this was, you know, kind of turn of century, uh, note here. There was some staleness going on with the, uh, jackass note, which was a $10 legal tender before this with Daniel Webster on it. Um, and actually that's on my list of notes to get here as soon as I can ever find one. But the government kind of drew, um, was over with that and they wanted to redesign a new one. So they came up with this note here. And like I said, this is the, uh, Originally, the year series in 1901, these things were printed all the way up into the 20s, and we know that based on the signature pair of Spielman and White. And, um, you know, those guys are off printing silver certificates and the legal tender is up in the 23 series. So, yeah, they've been around for a little bit of time, but um, this is a very popular note. In the middle, lots of controversy. Uh, we'll start with one. It's a bison, not a buffalo. A lot of us in America like to say buffalo. But it's actually a bison. There are no buffalo in North America. Um, and everyone likes to say that it's a black diamond. Uh, black diamond was a nickname for the bison that was stored or uh, housed in the New York Zoo back in this time frame in the late 1800s. And, you know, it was a big attraction uh, and site there. But that, too, is not believed to actually be the case on this note, per se. Black diamond is the... Uh, bison of choice on the buffalo nickel. Seems like I'm already confused and saying things buffalo on the uh, Indian head uh, nickel, if you would, uh, Mr. Frazier's nickel. But this guy right here is not the same one. They believe this one was actually uh, printed or um, modeled, I should say, after a stuffed bison that was in the Smithsonian uh, Museum in the late 1800s. I think 1886 a year was to be exact. And that's the one that this bison was actually modeled after. So not black diamond, but really, really cool. Really, really ornate. You know, you got the um, little allegorical figures around the portraits of Lewis on the left and Clark on the right. Um, just love this note. You know, it's, it's not in the best condition, um, but these guys can get very expensive very quickly. And there's some people that are shysty nowadays with their prices on these bisons, man. Let me tell you. Um, You'll be lucky if you find one in a fine choice fine nowadays for under 700 bucks. And one that is undergraded, you know, you're going to even spend more than that. So this one I asked on our Facebook group if they anybody had these available. And one of the guys that um, is on there said, you know what, I do. And so I'll flip it over here for you guys to see the reverse. You guys like my little stand too. But anyhow, he hit me up with this and gave me a wonderful price. And I said, you know what? Why the heck not? I can't turn that down. So again, on the back, it's got some excellent detail here. A little dirty, you know, but expected on... A no this is this is normal circulation wear for a, a choice find, guys. You're, you're, I mean, the thing is, is going to look like this, you know? It's going to have some dirt. It's going to have some uh, folds in it. All that kind of stuff. But the detail is what I'm really concerned about. And it's still all there. So... It's also a problem-free note, you know, they didn't call it any type of staining or nothing like that, which there is none on it, um, you know, just a little dirt down there, but yeah, so, you know, um, it's always nice to get a comment-free, um, if you would, non-details kind of grade note, 
that always adds to the values and marketability of these things. And, and these things are so easy to sell, man. If you can get into them at a good price, uh, you'll have no problem selling them. And I, like I said, think that I got a very good deal on this, and so I couldn't turn it down. I may upgrade sometime in the future because I really like this note, as does the rest of Paper Money Collectors, apparently. It's in the, I want to say, top like seven or so of the 100 most collected notes of the United States. So a very, very popular note, a very, very cool note. But anyways, flip it back over here once more. So yeah, man, this is, uh, I don't think I showed you guys Clark up close and personal there, this buddy. Great uh, United States expeditioners here that explored a lot on the uh, Western Front and expanded our country back in their time. So really cool and well-deserving of being on this note, in my opinion. It was a celebration of their 100th uh, anniversary of the Lewis and Clark expedition. So, But that's the Bison note. I hope you guys learned a little something. I hope you guys enjoyed checking this thing out. Like I said, the next, got a couple of the $10 legal, legal tender series is really cool, guys. It's got this one. It's also got the jackass note, as I said, which I'm looking avidly to find one. And you got the 1923 poker chip, which has Andrew Jackson on the 10. And like I've said in my old Hickory video, he's moved all over the place from the 5, the 10, to the current day 20, and probably going to get booted off that um, in November, I would imagine. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, so he's, uh, I really want that note, and it's very expensive, as a lot of other people want. It looks similar to kind of this, less ornateness going on around the borders. Jackson's portraits in the middle. Go check that out. 1923 legal tender, $10 um, poker chip. And you'll see why the poker chip on the on the backside of the note. But hope you guys learned something. Hope you guys enjoyed this note. And until next time, I will catch you guys on the flip side. Silver Surfer is out.